What's your name? Emoji sign. Open that app. Where you at? What's your name? Emoji sign. Open that app. In this video i am going to show you how you can flash any samsung phone and what you will be needing so you will be needing the audion software which you can download this is the audion software right here you will also need a samsung driver and you will be needing the system files for your phone here the main system file is the ap and this is the bootloader and the other files but the main file that you will flash your phone with is the ap if you are flashing your phone you can flash your phone with all the files or just the ap so i am going to show you now so i'm going to flash this phone you will be needing the P the number I am going to show you how we are going to get that right we can get this in recovery mode it normally be at the top so if your phone is booting into recovery mode you can get that number from recovery or you can just plug your phone up to the computer and you can get that number so you can see that the phone is right here we are going to left click we are going to go to properties and you can see the system version which is this number this is the number that you need for your phone it will also show you the binary and it will give you the entire number that you need to look for so we are going to go to google and we are going to search for this number and we can put firmware or we can put rom so let's click firmware and you will see that there are some websites here and they have the exact firmware number so what you will do you will download the firmware so when the file is finished downloading you open and you can see the four files that I was talking about here we are going to extract these five hours later so we are going to save it in this folder here extract these files I'll look the folder here so while the files are being extracted to, to this folder what we are going to do we are going to put the phone into download mode to put the phone into download mode you want to hold the power button and the down button for phones like these you will have to use the home button as well there are some phone that doesn't have any home button you just hold the volume down and the power button phones like these this one is a samsung galaxy it's an e phone like these you hold the volume down and the power button to go into the download mode this phone is giving me some problem to go into download mode i believe that the volume down button is working off and on i am going to show you a faster way to do this i have actually got the phone into download mode before what i am going to do i'm going to show you a shortcut in which we can use to to do this if your phone is working you want to connect your phone to your computer you want to download this tool it's a free tool you want to scan for this device and let me just let you know once you connect your phone your drivers should update automatically if you're doing this from a windows 7 or 8 or windows 10 computer you want to click download mode here and you can see it says download mode so it's easy just like that the phone is now in download mode you can close this tool the files are finished extracting so we have the files here what we are going to do we are going to open Odeon that's the software that we need you can download this software as well I have different versions this blue light is indicating that the phone is connected right guys so the phone is connected there and it is in download mode so what we are going to do here we are going to click BL and if you look at here you will see BL here you load BL here and BL is finished loading up you want to do so for CSC as well
and this is loaded in as well you want to do for CP and you click this you open you want to do this as well for AP this is the main system file for your phone if you look it is normally the biggest file so you want to load this up as well and the reason why I leave this for last is because this normally takes a longer time to load and also the software usually say not responding but it will actually take a few minutes to respond properly and this is quite normal so you need not to worry ensure that you are not using a faulty usb cable the file is still loading and everything will be loaded up in a while So all files are loaded in and as you can see that we are connected here in download mode so we are ready to flash the phone. So all you have to do you have to click start. Well guys for me I already have the Samsung drivers installed. When you go into download mode your computer should install the Samsung drivers automatically. When doing this, do this connecting to a Wi-Fi connection or some internet connection so that the drivers can update or you will not be able to flash your device. So what we are going to do here, we are going to click start and do this at your own risk. Also bear in mind that you cannot unplug your USB cable while doing this so it will definitely take some time to complete and this is the process on how you can successfully flash any Samsung Galaxy phones once you do the steps that i show you in this video by getting the proper firmware number for your phone as different phones will have different binary version and you don't want to get mix up so you want to get your pda number from your phone Five hours later. successfully flash and you will get this green pass once everything is successfully completed and the phone will now be updating and optimizing so we can go ahead and close this we can also go ahead and unplug the cable here
and this is how you flash a samsung galaxy phone successfully and bear in mind that you get the correct firmware version for your device it is actually needed for you to flash your phone successfully and let me know in the comment section if you're experiencing any problems or if you need any help with anything if this video was a good help to you do like share and subscribe let me go ahead and show you guys how you can get the firmware version number you can actually get your version number in your settings you go to about and you can see the number here get there it's right here and also if you turn the phone off and you go into recovery mode you can get that in recovery mode as well in recovery mode here you can see the current version here android 7 just 727e and that's the entire firmware number that you need when you want to flash your phone guys hope that this was helpful do like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one i'm out and do drop a comment let me know how it goes